not for hire. I'm gonna do two things now. This is another video. I don't edit them, so I can't put them together. I'm gonna take out some of this from my glove box. What do you think's gonna happen? And then I'll show you the window issue. I put the window down so when I backed up to get the rally, I could hear the directions. And it went up a couple of inches and it died and I jiggled and wiggled it, tried both switches, tried everything, it went up to halfway. So I unbolted it because my buddy Nick told me it's bolted on, so I unbolted it and it actually clamps the window. And I stuck a 2x4 in, luckily I brought a saw with, because on this trailer we have the original engine for this Rally 350. Date code correct, serial number correct, the original engine is clamped down. It's got a correct F85 two-barrel air conditioning block right now that's all built up. But what we're going to do next is this little roll of electric tape is going to fix all your problems. <laughs> Just like the snake oil salesman. So all you have to do is hold the camera and not let it droop. And this door closes like typical GM. Slam it. There's two ways to fix this. Three ways. The right way is with a brand new part where you're going to find one. The other way is with a piece of text tubing. But the simple way is with electric tape. It was originally a nylon bushing and it broke after a year or two or three. Every single one of them. Just wrap it very carefully with electric tape. It lasts about five years. It's amazing. A little bit of electric tape will do to make the vehicle operate better. In Israel, there's a guy there with a 1979 Chevy. C20 from Minnesota in Israel. The door wasn't closed, so I got my electric tape and all the guys were watching the car show in Tel Aviv. They're all watching me wrap it. The guy next door with the 79 Cadillac says, Do you get mine next? The door doesn't close properly. All four doors. The car was like a show car. That's it. And now, whoops, it's tight because it's a low mileage. I don't know. Well, that's what it needed, but it's tight because of... That one's missing, too. They all are. They are fell they, off. Are you sure there's supposed to be something on it? 100%. Oh, yeah. Watch my videos. 100%. But why is it closing so tight? It actually... Hold the camera again for a second. It actually... It depends on the A little bit. It's too tight. Something is binding here. Uh, that's okay. I'll go. <laughs> But it is missing the bushing. Let's go look at the other ones. 100% it's missing the bushings. And what happens is the door has to go too far for the striker to latch. So you have to slam it to go further, and then it springs back. Somebody may have run this in. No, they haven't been budged. These are original. But there's supposed to be bushings on it. You watch my video. One of many, many, many videos. It actually doesn't close too bad considering they're missing. There's that one. There's a good example. All right, we're going to fix this oh, one. Oh, that's okay. That yeah, takes two seconds. Uh, it says, that front door needs something else. It's binding on the rubber seals, I think. There you oh, go. That was slow. That switch is a little lazy. Did you hear it go down? Yeah, yeah. It retards the timing also 40 degrees. It was advanced. So they actually have more power when they're running on fast idle because the timing is advanced to 4 degrees. This one will be a better example because it closes more effectively. Yeah. That's what that front one should do. That front one's binding. It's tight. I don't know what it is. Hmm. All right. You can actually bring that bolt out with a T55. Yeah. Bring it back a fraction. Well, that is our lesson in old converted gas ends. It's highly, highly converted. Now, you're missing the original fuel line. Someone's made something up. Ah, yeah, here's a high pressure fuel line. Apparently, John Deere tractors had a very similar setup to the standard pumps. Mm -hmm. So, that's what they put on when I bought the car. But when I, if those ever go, I will do the original. My uh, friend may have them. Yeah, these rubber keys. Yep. What else would you do? Plastic. Well, that's our lesson in old mobiles for today. What a great survivor. 34,000 miles.